In a common classification, the butterfly valves consist of two following types. 1. The concentric butterfly valves. In the design of the low-pressure butterfly valves, the axis of disc and stem are coincident. Therefore, in open position, the disc divides the fluid flow into two parts in a way that the disc itself lies in the middle parallel to the stream flow. The seat of these valves is made of neoprene, hypolone, teflon and similar materials. The class of these valves is usually 150 and 300. 2. The high performance or the non centric butterfly valves. As the thermal and working pressure of this valve is very high, the seat cannot be made from soft materials, however, the ingredients of the valve must be made of metals. From the other hand, in closed or open positions, contact between two metal surfaces is severely corrosive. To reduce this adverse contact, the axle of disc or stem is out of the center of the disc. The out-of-center displacement of disc and stem postpones the contact between seat and disc up to the last moments with the last movement. This kind of design not only reduces the friction force between the seat and disc, but also provides a complete sealing. As these valves operate in high pressures and temperatures, they are called high-performance butterfly valves. Generally, in the design of the butterfly valves, the weight and volume of the valve decrease considerably, and as a result, the production cost of these valves is relatively low. By the valve, the design has provided the possibility of manufacturing valves up to 5 meters. As surface of contact between the seat and disc is not large and continuous, a relatively little force is needed to change the position of the valve from the close to open or vice versa. As the contact between the disc and seat occurs just in the last moment that the valve is approximately closed, the corrosion is very low in this valve. Due to the lower number of ingredients and low contact surfaces with fluid, their maintenance cost is relatively cheaper.